Okay, let's see. I think I think I think we're okay. <laughs> I think we're live. Uh, let me finish checking a few things. Uh, it says we're live. Shows me on Twitch, and I think we're good. All right, let's push. Uh, let's push this magic button over here. Giant Formithrax in the house. Giant Formithrax. Hey everybody. Ha 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 ha. Old people attack! Ah, scary. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I'm not blocking anything, right? No, I'm not blocking anything. Here we'll do, we'll do a little bit smaller. <laughs> Don't worry. I will. Uh, I'll minify, minimize the giant Vormithrax when we go when we start actually playing the game. This is just intro conversation, Vormithrax. <clears throat> All right, let's, uh, yeah, sorry for the delay. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> it was Twitch. Twitch had login issues if you're just showing up. Uh, they finally got them fixed, apparently. I was just able to log in. So now we'll, we'll get going. It's my favorite part. My favorite is part, brand new challenge. And I have questions. New challenge, and Vormithrax has questions. I've already got them before I've even entered the world. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, this stuff occurs to me. It occurs to me. Ah, now this challenge has nothing to do with Karate Kid. <laughs> this is not a Karate Kid challenge. Uh, look up, uh, look up gymnast named Nadia. <laughs> ah, ah, this has nothing to do with uh, Karate Kid. All right, uh, let me go. Uh, ah, all right, let me uh, let me minimize some things here. I think we're all set. Uh, so, welcome everybody. I'm Vormithrax, the big guy, right there in the middle of the screen, doing the karate chat. Uh, I'm here to play some Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. We're starting a brand new challenge. We're going to play the Perfect Ten. The Perfect Ten. What's that mean for this challenge? It means we're going to try to make it to ten in a few different uh, few different skills. One of them a little, I'm a little fuzzy on. We might not actually make it on one of them. <laughs> we're going to try to get to ten in Dodge and Melee. And I was originally trying to get to 10 in athletics to tie into the gymnastics theme and all that, but mm, I think there's only one possible way to get to 10 athletics, and it ain't fun to watch. <laughs> it's, 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 it's brutally boring to watch. So unless somebody can tell me some alternate way that doesn't involve going out and finding an NPC with 10 athletics and getting training from him, I think the only way to do it is to tread water, deep water, while listening to music and uh, partaking of uh, wondrous alcohol and chocolate <laughs> and listening to music for weeks <laughs> of game time. Just, just sitting there and doing that forever. So there might not be a realistic or useful way of getting to 10 athletics in-game. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what we can do to advance the skill. I'll give it a try, but I don't think we have much in the way of doing that yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure swimming is the only way to do it, especially once you're up to level six, like this character will be at the start. Uh, from six to ten, I think swimming is your absolute only choice. Unless, and I don't mess with NPCs, you, you folks know, unless you can do training of athletics from some NPC that maybe has a boatload of it. But yeah, you know. Uh, so that one we might have to switch out. We might have to go like melee 10 on arm 10 and uh, dodge 10. I don't know. We'll see. But we'll, we'll push for them for now. And we'll see what happens as we go along. But we're going to get as many of those types of things to 10 as we can. Uh, so that's the general challenge. Uh, new thing introduced that's going to make this somewhat interesting is uh, the brawler trait. If you haven't seen the brawler trait, I hadn't seen it before until I went looking for a challenge this time. And, uh, yeah, we have a brawler trait right there. Four points, whether from personal choice or childhood trauma. Using ranged weapons is off limits to you, even if your life depended on it. No ranged weapons in the Cataclysm. No guns. <laughs> My question is, first, do I get to throw things? Can I still throw things to do damage, or am I locked out of throwing? Is that considered a ranged weapon? Or is it just guns? And bows. Anything with the fire command. I suspect it's anything with the fire command, but I haven't tested it yet. I don't know. We're going to find out. 
Uh, yeah, the F key, the fire command. That's that's what I'm assuming they've disabled or removed or, or whatever. They've manipulated in some way. Um, so I'm hoping that throwing is still possible. Because, yeah, I mean, I'd like to throw some acid bombs, my new favorite toy that's ridiculously overpowered. I really need to get that thing... <laughs> I'm going to keep beating that horse until it's well dead and uh, modified. Because those acid bombs are ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, we're going to we're gonna try to throw things. That'll be one of the first things I try when we get in-game. Is, uh, is throwing also locked out? But yeah, just try to imagine getting through a lot of the areas with no guns. And a lot of the enemies we're going to have to try to fight or, or avoid or deal with with no guns. So, yeah, that'll be the new thing. That's the big new thing we're kind of testing out. I am also testing out the new stamina. New stamina. So if you're not aware, the stamina system or cardio system did get an update a little over a week ago. And the uh, the, the the fun stuff I had been educating, <laughs> educating people on for the last few months about, uh, you know, being young, being tall and being obese no longer applies. Completely, completely removed. Being young, being tall, and being obese no longer tie into the stamina system in any way, and you're not going to get big benefits there. So, uh, you don't need to see me playing 16-year-old, six foot seven, uh, morbidly obese uh, people, because <laughs> it's 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 no longer a thing. It's gone. So, yeah, there you go. No more free stamina for being uh, young and tall in the character gen for no cost. Uh, so that's gone. So this character is kind of stacked up on the rest of the stamina stuff that I can try to manipulate. That's uh, the uh, athletics trait or skill, as well as the fleet or not fleet foot indefatigable trait as, and fast metabolism. Fast metabolism gets you a little bit of, of a regen uh, faster. Indefatigable is a, the biggest boost I think you can get short of what hyperactive, I think, from the mutation trees. Um and then athletic skill ties directly into the cardio system as well for stamina. So uh, I think I looked at it. I did a test and I looked at it. I believe a standard character with no modifying traits has about 8,500 uh, stamina base. And a character with this setup is about 10,200. Um, yeah, about 10,200. So it's a, it's a fairly sizable increase, but it's nowhere near what I used to be able to achieve. Um, using all those shenanigans with the, uh, the really broken crap. So broken crap, mostly fixed or eliminated, uh, those kind of loopholes. Yay. Um, and now we're, we're, we're back to real humans, real pretend humans, you know, real pretend humans. That's, that's what we like to deal with real pretend ones. Um, so yeah, so we are playing, uh, the perfect 10. We're going to try to get tens and a bunch of stats, uh, some way, some way. I haven't really tried pursuing that in quite a while. Uh, we're playing around with stamina changes. We're testing out the brawler trait. Uh, for the game world settings, I change it slightly. There's only three real changes from a default world. We've got uh, half items, so 0.5 on item spawns to give us a little rarity in the stuff we're going to go after. Um, I've got 60 days of evolution baked in. I didn't change the evolution speed. It's still on 4.0, so evolution from the point we entered the world forward is going to be normal. But I did bake in 60 days of evolution, so we did a Cataclysm Occurs on day zero, 60-day delayed start. Therefore, we start on the same day, 61 at 8 a.m., uh, but there will be 60 days of evolution having already passed. So we should have some spicy zombies in there. Uh, I didn't want to go too hard because I really don't know what the brawler is going to do to me. Um, I mean, the normal go-to is go get guns. Guns solve all the problems. Um, so now we don't have that crutch. We can't just go get guns and solve all the problems. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work. <laughs> so not being able to just blast away at uh, certain things from certain ranges and so on to eliminate oh, acid and shock and, and a lot of other things is going to be different. Uh, we don't have any vehicle limitations or anything like that. We're a very fast character. We've got fleet foot, indefatigable, uh, parkour, athletics, and so on. High dodge, so we're going to be really leaning into the dodge. I'm curious. It's been a little while since I did a high dodge character with a martial art, and I have some serious questions about the martial art. We're going to be using capoeira, 
And uh, it's a kick, most mostly kick-based damage system. And I got some serious questions about that that kick-based damage. <laughs> I'll talk about them when we get in game a little bit. And if you were in chat while we were waiting for Twitch to get its login servers working, uh, you kind of know some of my questions. Uh, vehicle guns allowed? I don't know. I don't know. It's a good question. Shall we find out? Let's let's go find a vehicle with a gun and find out. Oh, reach weapons would be fine. That's the tab key, not the F key. <laughs> Just tab key your way through. A little bit odd, but uh, yeah, you know, we got questions. We'll see. Uh, yeah, we're going to explore Brawler. We're going to explore Stamina. We're going to explore the kick-based martial arts system because I have questions, possible issues that I want to look at, figure out, address. Um, but yeah, so unarmed combat three with capoeira means we're going to be missing the, uh, the, the best of the martial art techniques. We need to get to unarmed five before we can unlock all those. Um, other than that, 12 strength, it's a bash based kick damage system. So I went high strength, uh, 10 decks, intelligence, reception, standard at eight parkour. Um, yeah. And high athletics. Dodge. That, that's what we're going to lean into because we're going to be. We're, I mean, we're a brawler. We're going to have to be in their face, up front, and personal, uh, pretty much all the time. Uh, it's either avoid or it's fisticuffs or or footicuffs. Yeah, it's footicuffs. <laughs> we're going to engage in footicuffs. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll see. I think it'll be interesting one way or the other. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take to level these skills though. We might have to come up with another challenge goal, but I really want to see just how how brawling affects me. And uh, see what kind of damage we do with with our footies. All right, um, I think that's it. Let's let's go ahead and get things rolling. So uh, we're all set. Oh, give Zombie Dog a treat right now. All right, he's gonna be he's gonna be over to the side of me here. Uh, zombie Dog devouring right there. Here we'll give you Monster Zombie Dog. No butter, day 60. Um, I think it's on the edge of the butter, <laughs> the great butter dissolution. <clears throat> All right, zombie dog, good job. Oop, turn that off. Let's uh let's 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 cast a micro spell on Vormatrax. Let's get him down to a more reasonable size. How about that? All right, we'll we'll there we'll do that. I think that'll work. Uh, let's jump into some gameplay. Real gameplay starts at, well, I might talk more when we get in game, but let's see what kind of world we get. Oh yeah, where's it going to start me? Random location, 225 variants, huh? <laughs> um, <laughs> hmm, do I care? Now, notice we're playing the surrounded start, so we're going to have a boatload of enemies right up front, and it's going to be daytime. So this could be pretty important. I don't want, I mean, I guess I could leave it random. I guess I could leave it random. We can see what happens. I mean, if I die, who cares? Start of the challenge. <clears throat> no big loss. Ah, let's, uh, let's just leave it random. Let's see what they give me. All right. I'm, are you sure you're finished? I am sure. In we go. All right, dense like style with its recent Brazilian slavery. Capoeira is focused on fluid movement and sweeping kicks. Moving briefly enables stronger techniques. Missing attack grants bonus damage for a short time. Sounds good. We got, we got, uh, oh yeah, I got to turn my stuff back on. <laughs> I got to turn my stuff back on. I got a bear right next to me. Am I in a bear enclosure in a zoo? I think I'm in the bear enclosure in a zoo. <laughs> Am I going to be able to get out of here? <laughs> wow. Hey, Mr. Bear. <laughs> huh, that's kind of funny. Okay. Well, hold on a sec. Let me uh, first go back and turn my map back on. I forgot to reset this stuff. Uh, map. And uh, that key. A. I'll go mini map. N? What the hell?
Nope, that's not the one I was thinking of. <laughs> Wrong one. Key bindings menu. Uh, map. <clears throat> you can go back to N. Come on. Weird. I don't need to toggle my mini map anyway. Stop doing this weird stuff. View map. M. Yes. All right. Toggle mini map undone. Cool. That's all I need there. And uh, then I need uh, what was the key? That key. That key. Earn health back on. I think that was all I did. All right, I think we're all set. <laughs> huh, wonder if I can get out of this bear enclosure. So, I'm, uh, yeah. You've attracted the attention of living dead in some way. Now they're all around and you'll likely have to fight through them if you want to escape. This is not a good place. I suspect there's going to be like a hallway through that door, assuming I'm allowed to open it. All right. <clears throat> now, as far as I know, Brawler's just no ranged. This is the first time we're trying it. I have questions. We're going to hopefully answer those questions. So, I don't know. So, here's Capoeira. Uh, we get dodge plus one, meaning we get an extra dodge. Actually, no, that's dodge skill plus one. We do get an extra dodge. Or is that actually saying dodge number of attempts dodge plus one? Are you talking skill or are you talking number of dodges there? Because... I don't think it lists dodge anywhere else. Yeah, it doesn't list dodge anywhere else. Hmm. Well, according to... Yeah, see, it says dodge plus one, but then dodge plus one bonus to dodge for the stack, which is the skill upgrade. I think it's telling me I get two for a total of three dodges. If I have momentum going. So the wiki info is, I think, out of date. They've changed a, a whole bunch of the martial arts, and the wiki's no longer current. Uh, so yeah, I think I get extra dodge attempts based on those two, and then I get extra skill based off of that. Hmm. It'll be a little hard to track, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right, so one of my questions, the big question, see all these kicks? It's a very kick-oriented martial art. Lots of kicks. My question is, does my footwear change the damage that my kicks are going to do? Because it really should. <laughs> if I'm wearing steel-toed sneakers, is my kick technique from Capoeira going to do more, less, or the same damage as if I was wearing fuzzy bunny slippers? That's what I want to know. That's one of my questions. Does my footwear change the damage that's going to occur when these kick techniques fire off. My second question is, these techniques that say move cost 75%, 75% of what? What is the normal cost of a technique? <laughs> 400? 50? 1,000? I, I don't know. What's, what's the move cost on a technique? 75% of what? I, I don't know how to read that. What's it mean? Since I don't know what the base value is that it's comparing against, it's it's 75% of what? Um, yeah, I got I got questions, and I don't know if I'm going to get answers. So, but you'll notice we do not qualify for these bottom two. Circle kick and spin kick are the are the most powerful ones. 40% damage increases, but uh, and move move cost reduction on that one, but we don't qualify. So we need. Uh, one and two more levels to get circle kick and spin kick fired up. All the other ones we're fine with. Sweep, push, faint, tempo, and so on. So we'll get all the dodge bonuses, basically. But uh, we won't get those two big kick ones. All right. So there you go. That's Capoeira. Ah. Does your kick damage do more if you're holding nail knuckles? I think I read something about that occurring previously, and I think they fixed that with the attack vector changes. 
I'm pretty sure that was a thing a while back, but I think they fixed that. All right. 75% of standard unarmed strike, depending on what you have equipped. Well, but then, but depending on what do you mean, what I have equipped? My footwear? My handwear? <laughs> I mean, unarmed stuff almost always is knuckles and, and daggers and all that kind of stuff. But, yeah, I know handwear, but it's all kicks. That's my point. Capoeira is all kicks. Why the hell would it matter what I have in my hands if I'm kicking somebody in the face? <laughs> So that's that's where I'm I'm questioning. I'm tr I'm gonna try for steel-toed sneakers and the fuzziest pair of slippers I can find, and we're gonna go we're gonna go kick the hell out of some some low-level zombies, and we're gonna watch the numbers. I need in-game actual empirical data and experience. That's how I judge things. I play I play the game, I see what happens, and I report the findings. Then people say, well, according to the code, it does this and that and the other. And then I say, well, according to 5,000 hours of video, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Go find a different part of the code to look at. So we'll see. We'll see if this will be one of those. All right, let's uh, let's play the game. <laughs> now we're 20 minutes in and I haven't done anything but, but yak. All I've been doing is yakking. Uh, so I don't think the bear is going to be hostile. It's not the time of year for hostile bears. So I don't think I'll get et by the bear. But I need to know if I can get out this door. Alright, so we can get out the door. So we're out of the rare cage. Now I gotta find out if we're gonna get attacked by uh, zombies in a hallway. So we've got a runner pack. Cool. A hoodie. Okay. Cargo pants with a smartphone. T shirt, wristwatch. Who needs a wristwatch and a smartphone? Come on. Come on. Who needs both? <clears throat> Alright. So we got nothing, basically. Nothing but a little bit of carry capacity. 6.2 weight currently carry as a, uh, opposed to 134 <laughs> available. 17 volumes, pretty good. That'll let us catch up some stuff. Let's hit the M key. M key. I love you, M key. Welcome back. Is that a collapse tower? <laughs> oh, we got a collapse tower in the city of Mercer. Okay, what do I have nearby? I don't remember the design on the on the zoo. Zoo parking, so I assume this is the front. So we want to go east to get to the entrance and get out of here. If we can, surrounded start in a zoo. Hmm. All right, not much for me to look at. I just basically need to get to the entrance. Uh, I don't have a light... I hope this isn't a dead end corridor. All right, cool. We're out of that enclosure. So far, are these are these tall bamboo? Five hundred move cost. Wow. Um, hmm, that's a lot of bamboo. I'd have to move through. All right, let's go back this way. Really? I'm out. All right. I didn't realize there would be an exit that that quick. There's a few enemies. It's one or two. What do we, what do we got out here? <laughs> Stem kit box? Oh, in the house. In the house. All right. What are we looking at? Fat zombies, pupating, toughs, dissolutes, soldiers, hunters, axemen, lots of dogs. Big old dog pack. All right. Nothing too exotic. So, options, current world, uh, as I mentioned, we've got half items. I didn't mess with anything else up here. Then start on uh, Cataclysm on day zero, spawn delay 60, which starts us on day 61 with 60 days of evolution. And uh, hordes turned on, wandering hordes on. Okay, so it's all brawling all the time. Let's look at our actual stats. We're sitting on a 13 dodge currently with our, our current setup. We've got Capoeira Stance and Momentum rolling, which, once again, Stance gives us an extra dodge. Activate when unarmed. Unarmed weapons are okay. And we get a bonus to our dodge for the stack. And then Momentum. Dodge also plus one. Active while unarmed. And activate while using unarmed weapon. I think this one... Yeah, I gotta, I gotta move every three turns. I think this is Activate on Move. And so you got to keep moving. Basically, you can punch, 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 and then you got to do a move. 
the very fluid movement oriented style. So you want to um, you want to punch, punch, punch. And some of these you get bonuses for the stack. Yeah, we'll stack up to three times right here. Tempo. So you get bonus damage. We'll stack up to three times. We'll last one turn. I have to figure out how some of this works. But we, we need to move every once in a while. All right. So let's go ahead and get out in the open here. Uh, so I want to avoid things that can shoot shock. Otherwise, hit me from range. we got a tennis court next to us. A forest house there. So if we go west, we got houses. Uh, we have a doctor's office. Downtown is pretty thin. I can't go near the uh, the collapse tower. We we visited one of those recently, and I'm not going there in this character, not at this stage anyway. Subway station. I don't see a lot. I, most things are too close to that that collapse tower. Too close to the collapse tower. Library on the way out of town. I'd like to go north. Hit that library and then find a house to cozy up in for a little while. Get some early game stuff taken care of. Hmm. Most of this stuff can see me currently. That's a semi-fancy house. Um, if I go towards it, most of this stuff will pull that direction. Or I can climb the fence in the tennis court and uh, just jog past those guys. Climb the fence again and go into this house initially. Hmm. How I have missed you, map. I guess I should check a few vehicles, too. We don't have any vehicle restrictions in this one so far. A beetle. Nope, can't drive that. Nothing drivable in sight that I can see currently. I think I'll go, uh, I'll go west. Let's go west. I should be able to just juke right past these guys. Can I get over the fence before I get hit? Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice and quick. Let's see. Problem's going to be getting over the fence with that tough zombie right there. Oh, or it's not going to be a problem. <laughs> Guess it is not going to be a problem. Quick was about... Oops. I probably should have gone straight into that window. Quick was the only thing I couldn't stack onto the character. I got grabbed already. Broke the grab. And oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Give me... Get me, get me out of here. <laughs> Door's locked. I didn't try the south door. But um, I'm worried that goes into like a closet. Eh, it might go into a bedroom, but I had to get out of there. That that first door being locked could have been a death sentence. As soon as the, uh, all these zombies started plugging the window, I would have been dunzers. So, let's try this again. What do we got up here? Binoculars! Oh, I, I must own binoculars. Right. We are the proud owner of a big pile of binoculars. I also need to stop uh, burning stamina for a minute. Let's go south. Whoa, not fun. Hey there, grappler. All right, I think it's time to exit this place. Now that we got a little less visibility on us, I can make some better decisions. Nah, no time for a roof escape. <clears throat> Hey there, Advent. Thanks very much for dropping the Prime sub. Appreciate that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. That'd be this side, right? <laughs> hey, green screen. Move over a little bit. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> there we go. Didn't notice the... Uh, I guess I could have moved the camera slightly to the left, but that worked. Green screen fixed. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what was I talking about? Um, I think I'm going to go... 
How are these looking? How are these looking? Broke as hell. And no controls. All right. No vehicle luck. We should have a pretty massive advantage in regards to movement. Uh-oh. He's going to throw stuff. Which I can't... I don't think I can dodge his rocks, and they're going to do a lot of damage. Barrels are going to be one of the problems. I can't just blap them from outside their throw range. Could lure him into melee and then try to get that. Is it a pipe? You you a pipe carrying feral? Uh, pipe wielding, yeah, pipe wielding. I need a crowbar wielding one. So the door is likely locked. Why? What's what is that? A, what the hell? <laughs> A what? A cutlass? Sitting on top of a sign in front of a house? What do you think? Gonna be real or not? And is it worth getting chopped? It says aluminum. It's a replica. Alright, I can tell that from here, can I? Sort. <laughs> Never mind. We're gonna leave the cutlass alone. It's there to tempt me into getting uh, plastered with rocks by this stupid feral. All right, what am I running into? My plan is to go into the house. I'm going to break a window and hop into this house. I'm not certain I can walk over those. Can I Can I walk over these? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's find out. That one I can walk over. Oil lamp, sewing kit. I'll grab the sewing kit. And nothing else in the garage. I need some meds. Gives meds. Sort category. Sort category. So bandages. Yes. Um, hmm. Not impressed with the rest of it. I'll grab some alcohol wipes just in case. Uh, whoa. Hey there, dissolute. Welcome to the party. Oh, I was hoping to get down into the basement. Oh, I got no lights. I need a flashlight. Ah, they're coming in at me from every direction now. Hmm. A fog machine. Can't afford to grab anything with this runner so close to me. Feral Granny, sweet old lady in a wheelchair. Is she gonna climb up on that counter with a wheelchair? Am I is my immersion gonna be totally shattered? <laughs> Can Granny in a wheelchair go up on rough terrain and, and countertops and tables? Cause you know that would be really stupid. But I can't think of a way they would program around allowing it. <laughs> oh, hammer. Hammer was in the... Oh, nope, there's the hammer. Oh, nope, they're going to get me. Damn. Oh, incandescent husk. Now it's getting spicy. I knew the 60 days would throw out some fun ones. I wasn't sure how many fun ones we'd get. This feels like a pretty good mix so far. Big old pack of runners and an incandescent again. I'm not getting to spend any time in these damn houses. Everything's right on top of me still. Where are we in our movement? We got oh I'm in the I'm in the I'm in the residential neighborhood, just running north. Which I'm okay with. Hey vehicle. Broken security system, gas in the tank, engine's not busted, it has wheels. It's drivable. Drivable vehicle, which is gonna gonna get uh Ooh, this could be really bad. We might be in trouble here. The reason why is the door could be locked, and that takes forever to activate, and I got runners coming in right behind me. Hmm. Um, 
So I got to decide right now if I'm going to bail back out of here. Which might be a better idea, because I could then try to move these zombies around without letting them in the in the garage with the car. Assuming I can lose the pursuit or at least delay it so I can get back here and get that door, the garage door open. Uh, I think it's better if I bail out of here. They just broke the, uh, <laughs> the drain pipe. I was thinking of climbing up on this drain pipe. And I'm blocked from the west. I got an incandescent husk coming at me from the east. I could climb the drain pipe for the house I'm in right here if I can get to it without getting shocked to death. Ooh, or grabbed by any one of these many things. Hmm. Hmm. Time to ponder. We've got a really good dodge. Pretty good. Uh, does this, does Capoeira have any grab breaks? Or am I breaking grabs just based on my natural stats? I don't remember if they have grab breaks. I don't think they do. Which is not great. Dodge bonuses. It's mostly just dodge and then kick techniques. I don't think there's any grab breaks. Hmm. You'd think you couldn't execute a spin kick if you were grabbed. <laughs> or the execution of a spin kick would probably break a grab. Um, I could try, I, I can get out to the street to the east, I think, with, a, with the least amount of difficulty. What's the comparative move cost? 150 versus 400? Well, we'll definitely be going over the, uh, over the drain pipe. Yeah, I think we're going to go out to the front. Let's go there. Let's go there. Go there. All right. Let's see. I could circle back out front, go back in the building, try to just kind of lose this group, at least delay them a bit. I now have three, four fast movers that are chasing me. Those I won't be able to keep up with or keep ahead of in, in walk mode, especially down a bar and a half of stamina already. Um, I either need to get my stamina refreshed or... Yeah. No vehicles in the street I can use. All right. Let's come out here. See what the sitch is. I think I can scoot up past the incandescent before he can shock me into the edge of the garage door. Maybe. I put the speed or leave the speed on. Don't have a good opportunity to circle back, unfortunately. And I've still got a uh, barrel in here somewhere that's going to start tossing rocks if I give them opportunity. Ah, this is not the best circumstance. I got too far I need to run. I think I have to go north. I have to do it quick enough to get ahead of the shock. Oof, barely. Oh, well, <laughs> the game has decided it is time to kill the Vormithrax. <laughs> Nicely timed game. Nicely timed. Wow, this is going to hurt. And we're going to get shocked and uh, staggered by each of these little shocky blast thingies. And we'll probably be dead before I can get out of this. <laughs> Let's see. We're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. Do I go south or do I try to push through the sparklies to the north? If I go south. I'm already down. Stamina. We're starting the breathing. 
I'm probably going to get pushed into more shocks by the incandescent, and I'll have the tough and the ferals waiting for me. I try to push north. We're going to get shocked, which I think we are already zapped. Well, the pain effect is hit, which is going to slow us down. So I need to get to immediate safety, which I don't have. Ouch. We were doing good until that second shock zombie stepped out from around the corner. Let's see. I need a drain pipe, but I don't have one anywhere close. I'd have to get all the way across the street. Pretty much no matter what, I gotta get out of this. I gotta see what happens by trying to get out of this electrical cloud. I don't think going south is gonna be helpful. I'm gonna try to push northeast into the shock, and we're gonna get tagged a bunch. There's nothing I can do about it. So, let's see what happens. Wow, look at that pile. Oh, I thought we might make it. The staggers, the staggers. All right, that's a lot of damage, but we're not dead yet. <clears throat> now what? I can go for the drain pipe down here. There are multiple other ones. There's one on each corner, which gives me opportunities if they don't destroy them all. Even if they do, I'll just drop down an edge somewhere. I think that's my best chance. I don't see a better chance north right now. I just need to get up onto a roof and get my stamina back and do what I can to get some recovery. We'll wait some time and let the pain go down. I don't have, unfortunately, any pain meds. Didn't even grab the, uh, the aspirin that we passed. All right, so let's see. We're at speed 84. No rough terrain for me to move them over, so I think they're going to be faster than me. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. So I have to burn stamina to get there. I need to get there far enough ahead of them that they don't shock me and hit me before I get up that drain pipe. Oh, no. <laughs> you a-hole got me right there at the end. <laughs> Stupid seeking electric clouds. Oh, These things suck. All right, we're on the roof. Are they gonna bust the whole sis the whole thing down? Too bad we're not close enough to hop. Like that gap there. Although we're in pretty bad shape. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Let's um, <laughs> let's do nothing. Not really anything I can do but sit here and wait. Let's wait 30 minutes and see what happens. Are they going to knock it down? Am I going to fall through the roof? Still distressing. Ouch. I was hoping 30 minutes would get us at least out of distressing. Uh, yeah, that is a roadblock over there. huh? Help a little bit. <clears throat> but the noise from them breaking stuff below me is going to keep most of these guys right here. Alright, so we're at minus 14% for pain. Ouch! 86 speed is not good enough. We're going to wait another hour. Ah, 30 more minutes. <laughs> I still... I still have pretty serious disagreements with the whole pain system without drugs. I mean, hours and hours go by and you go down one or two points. Everything else can, can recover is just fine, but the pain just seems to be infinitely recurring unless you take hard, hard drugs. I still don't like that. <clears throat> Not a fan. Uh, let's see. So I don't got third degree burns. Show me where it says I have third degree burns. I got no third degree burns. 
We have rum. Does that? Nope, we don't have rum. That doesn't solve my problem. There's nothing to pick up there. Oh, satellite dish. Uh, yeah, that won't help me. Peek down. A shock zombie. So the incandescent killed a couple for me. So we don't want to deal with him. That means I'd have to be back out on the corner over here to avoid him. It's looking pretty good. I think maybe I can out, out move a uh, <laughs> dissolute. Depends on how many things he's absorbed. Yeah, if the source of the pain actually made a difference to what I'm talking about, I, I'd, I'd maybe go with you guys, but <laughs> source of the pain doesn't matter. doesn't matter if I stub my toe a bunch of times to get to negative 14 pain, or I get shocked, or I get burned. It's all the same, <laughs> and it all dissipates incredibly slowly if you don't take drugs. Archie. Unless I sit up here a whole lot longer, which I could do... I really don't want to. I am so tempted to try to get to that, that garage. I'm just worried where the shock zombie is going to be. Because if I try to go for that car... Shock zombie's on this corner. As soon as I start crossing, he'll see me and I'll get blasted again. Uh, if I wait, I gotta then reacquire the shock zombie so I can move appropriately. I think I'm just gonna drop down and head for that that house to the south, and we'll we'll go from there. Uh, climb down, yes. Hey there, feral. Gonna toss a rock through the window. Let's see just how much of a movement differential there is here. Runner coming from the side. Anything left in this house? Much appreciated on the YouTube bots. Keep up the good work. Either in Epicinium. <laughs> you're very welcome. Glad you're enjoying the uh, YouTube VODs. Um, I'm going to keep pushing through. We'll see if we can get into the house south of here. All the doors are broke. Headlamp! Oh, yes. Headlamp. Give headlamp. Alright, now we can hit basements. What else we got? Baseball cap, messenger bag, and a trench coat. I wouldn't mind a messenger bag, but I really need to keep moving. Alright, things that I want. Do I have time to grab things that I want? We are heading into the private park next. That's not good. I need to get basically across the street to here. Uh-oh. LMOE waiting for us, huh? All right, that's my current target right there. Current target's the LMOE. So we're going to try to make our way through these various houses and neighborhoods and then escape up to the LMOE. Then we'll, we'll, we'll figure out what, we're, what we can do from there. Oh, hey there. Fire lookout tower. I got up onto a roof, so we got a little bit better view around the area. Um, yeah, that's that's the plan. That's the plan. All right, so we're going to grab what we can. Try to stay safe. Hammer would be good. Matchbox would be good. Give me that. Give me that. Not too worried about food. We'll grab some cheese. Um... Grab a knife. Okay. 
<laughs> Just say no. Just say no. Roach basement with a shucker brute. Another one I can't wait to try to fight in melee. Alright, this one is starting to piss me off. These damn swimmer zombies, <laughs> they are so fast compared to the other zombies. I mean, look how far this one's gotten compared to the others up there. I hate swimmer zombies. Uh, so I need to get across the street to that house here. Park's not going to help me. It's going to be solid brick wall on this side. But I need to get... Uh, I don't know if there's another door over here. If I try to get to that door, I'd have to sprint. Which I could do. I think I can get to the door and get through it. Or I go to here, out the window, and then back around and hope there's no, nothing in the alley waiting for me. Let's do that instead. And let's get the headlamp on. Lost my nudist challenge. Alright, back off of that mode. Actually, let's... Let's hop into the park. I don't think there are any inherent zombies in the park. Ooh, or I could pop into this house here real quick. Is this house empty? House looks empty. Nope, it's not empty. Nothing can see me at the moment. That one guy, Swimmer's always following my scent trail, but now I might have a good opportunity to get into a house. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> it's going to be one of those runs. All right, do we try to fight with distracting pain, lowered stats? I really would like to see what we can do, but I wasn't hoping to get my first fight in this condition. What's my dodge currently? 9.7. So I can get hit easily by the rocks. Only hit me for one damage, which I guess is great. Fake a kick. <laughs> Fake a kick. Kick for 11. Sweep kick for 11. That's pretty good damage, especially in our our, our injured uh, form. So sweep kick is there. That's the 120 percenter. Hmm. All right, let me check our stats. So we got stance and momentum going. So plus one to skill and plus one to dodge attempt. Plus one to skill. So stance and momentum. This one is not giving me. Stance and momentum. So yeah, it, this is weird. I guess this is what they're referring to then is giving you an extra actual dodge. So this is the dodge skill. That's the dodge skill. And that's the bonus dodge. So only one bonus dodge is apparently what's happening. All right. How long before... So, we also knocked him down. Okay. Fake. You whack the hu feral human for 16. Critical. You dodge. Um, fake, fake. Sweep kick. He had to climb to his feet. So he's gotten one attack in so far, which we dodged. Hit the feral human in the head for 10. Critical. You push kick the feral for 7. I need to move. Which refreshes one of my... One of my uh, techniques. Alright. That went fairly well. Makeshift crowbar. I hate that these guys are carrying more of these. Do they only have makeshifts, or do some of them have the real crowbars? Is it a chance, or are they all like this now? I don't want a stinky makeshift crowbar. Alright, I need to get out of sight. Come on, give me some stuff. 
<laughs> Same stuff as before. I guess we'll take that. Well, we'll have an aspirin. And this bathroom's locked. Kevlar shears. Eek! Activate headlamp. Oh, it's the uh, the old bionic autodoc basement. It's now a spa. Give me a towel, because with the evolution we might actually have things that uh, blind me. Books. CQB. Yeah, CQB. I don't think is going to help me at our skill levels. Melee 2, unarmed 3. I don't think that'll do anything. We do have exercise machines, though. Hmm. Again, I think these aren't going to help me. I believe with our... Act our uh, athletics of six, I think we are beyond the uh, assistance of the machinery. Which one? Leather backpack with items. What you got? <laughs> hey, look, we got ranged weapons. We're saved. We're totally saved. So let's see what happens. Can I wield a SIG Pro 40? I can wield it. If I press F, you are a brawler. Using SIG Pro 40 is beneath you. So the F key is locked out. Can I throw the wielded? Hey, look at that. We can still throw. All right, we have, uh, we have answered questions. Questions have been answered. <clears throat> so throwing is still uh, within our ability, but we cannot use the fire key. All right, anything else to toss out? We'll, we'll of course, keep the, uh, the IFAC, the MREs. Adhesive bandage, medical gauze. All right, let's um, throw some gauze on our major boo-boo. That is going to be it, unfortunately. No more items. All right. Uh, I guess we are out of here. Actually, let's uh, take a hit of water. Still alive. <clears throat> Brainless zombie in sight outside the window. He shouldn't be a problem. All right. So one of the questions I have is with those kicks that I'm doing, I talked about this at the top of the episode. One of the questions we're trying to solve is, does footwear have an effect on kick techniques? Do my sneakers actually have an effect? Whoops. So sneakers. We scroll down. Protection, protection, this one doesn't have anything listed. <clears throat> Some of the hard uh, footwear will have combat values if you wield them and hit somebody with them, for example. Um, do those do those make a difference when I'm kicking? I, I really hope it does. should make sense that it does. I'm going to try to find some steel-toed sneakers. That's what I want to find out. If I'm wearing steel-toed sneakers, do I do more damage with my kick techniques than if I'm wearing fuzzy bunny slippers? Similarly to wielding brass knuckles, steel knuckles, impact knuckles for the hand-to-hand the -hand unarmed techniques. So, when we get a, an opportunity <laughs> to, to play around with some footwear choices, we're going to try to find the answer to that question. Starting to feel the 50% already. All right, so we got a little more time now. So we've got a leather backpack. What has that done to my dodge? We're down to 9.1 with the current amount of info in the uh, current amount of items in the backpack. Vormit Hulk. Vormit Hulk. Hey there, Roblox. 
Welcome back. Thanks for the resub. All right. We're inching closer to that 200. <clears throat> Let's see. Lighter, yes. Permanent marker, yes. Because I know people will want to be redoing their renaming shenanigans. Um, Coffee maker for boiling water. Uh, I don't usually need to or care. We don't have any food issues in this one. Let's say no to that. 